burden of legacy on the architecture is also a difficult one, and we are solving that one. But the burden of legacy on the financial, the marketing, the legal, the revenue recognition, the services, the, all these aspects of our business is so hard. Uh, our company is so deeply uh, embedded in a style of thinking that grew over 20 years that it is difficult to explain. Uh, I'll give you one example. We built this beautiful application called Recall Genie. And yes, it has a relevance to our customers, uh, Nestle and Colgate, and, you know, customers that have to deal with recalls. Um, and we built this beautiful application, but, but to demonstrate the totally new way, we built this application for end consumers, for moms, actually for first time moms. And mom, you know, you just became a mother, you have a child and you have all this ch child seats and food and baby food and clothes and things that you put around the neck of your child. And you want to know if there is something wrong with these products. And so Recall Genie is very simply, it's a very basic application to help mothers or parents deal with recalls on their children's products. And our idea is obviously at some point to connect this up to the backend systems that we manage for all the CPG companies. But that is something that people assume that we will do. The challenge was to build the application for moms. This application, in the first week, we actually did not even do any marketing or advertisements on it. It got three thousand downloads, and it runs in the, the application runs in the river platform. Uh -huh. And. Out of the 3,000, 800 started to play with the application. And I, I, I called Sam, Sam who was on stage with me, he is the one who built the app, his team. And I said, what the hell happened? Why aren't the other, what happened to the, I don't know if it was 800 or 1,800, what happened to the other 1,200 or 2,200 people? He said, they don't do eight character passwords. And I said, what? He says, yeah, our security regulation <laughs> requires an eight-character password with the, you know, exclamation sign and the underscore and yeah. the three and a half uppercase characters out of eight and the right order in which you have to choose the word and the, the drink that you should have had before you start to Sorry. use the password. And, and I said, you must be kidding. He said, people today do not like to do eight-character password. Just a simple, do you not understand that this is for a mom who wants to know about the recall on her child's car seat? You know, it, it is not the so, financial so, data of some CFO that is sitting in the cloud. So, so, so did he fix that? Not so far. So here's another example while we're talking about it. I was so talking to Nico about it, right? Long, I mean, long story short, to answer to your question, it's a disappointing. We are still working on it. I mean, if I put on my executive garb and say, you know, Dennis, it's a long journey, it's a complicated thing, blah, blah, we are working on it. But the reality is, so, so here's another example. There was the announcement about the new crystal stuff that you can get. It's easier to buy it than it is to try it. And that's pathetic. Crystal report on crystal yeah. report on, yeah. Yeah, it's pathetic. I have to fill out this long form. But all those things, and it's not exceptions that some daring board, board member took at personal risk. Unlike a Ger an American executive, a German corporate board member could go to jail. Uh, this is the veil of privacy is not like in America. They have 10 million lines of custom code in their SAP lenses. 10 million lines of custom code. And I asked, I was so stunned by that statistic uh, and I asked another one, and I said, this guy has 10 million lines of code, and they are the two CIOs that I was talking to, they are each other's friends and also my friends. And, uh, and he said, uh, we have uh, 200,000 person days. Yeah, we have, they looked at each other, he and his deputy were together. And he said, we have 200,000 person days of custom development that we have. And you apply the Fred Brooks, Mythical Van Man, 50 lines of productive code, per programmer per day, 200,000 person days is 10 million lines of code. Also 10 million lines of code there. And then you think about this and you say, shit, you have 45,000 systems. 
each with, let us say, 30% customization. Let us say 10% customization. In these cases, it is 30%. But let us say on average, it is 10% customization. That means, on the platform that Hasso built, 10% of 45,000 is 4,500. 4,500 times what we did for them in our applications, they did for themselves. Right? This is the definition of a platform. So, why not treat our own application development, our own product guys, our own field guys, our own marketing guys, as just one and have a broader community outside that you focus on? That one that you have is, of course, the closest and a primary customer and so on. And you treat them and with the respect and provide the services and the capabilities that they need in your, in your platform. But never mistake the fact that thousands of times more than what we did for the customers, the customers are doing for themselves on our platform. But I think a little bit his, his point was that the customers don't even know about this great Yeah, so what I'm saying is that we do that grass, grassroots outreach from here. We don't wait for the marketing organization to transform, for the sales organization to transform. We get the word out. And, I think and of course, that we have to continue to work on that as well, but do not put things on hold until that happens. And I think insult to injury is it, this community would be a great sales tool for the salespeople to, to say that when you're going with, with SAP or anybody else uh, on, on the enterprise side, it is a, like a marriage for the next 15 years, whatever. With whom would you like to um, spend these next 15 years? And the co community is uh, much stronger, vibrant, and, 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 and that listening culture of SAP would be such a, for me, obvious what a sales tool that would be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The nucleus, the core UDP team, Anna team, uh, is in Waldorf, and it came from Waldorf, and it is, uh, I have a picture in my office, it was taken in uh, November last year, late, it was a winter, uh, cold night, 7 p.m. on Friday, and there is a, and I'm not, you know, I'm responsible actually for all the employees who work in that building, building 3 in Waldorf Park in my organization, so I, I'm not questioning that, but this mindset, there is one wing that you see where every light is on and every other light is off. If I had some switch it on. No, <laughs> it, is, it is so shocking. You know, there are automatic lights. That it's a sustainability idea that's so strong. No, no, it was, it is, the lights are now sustainable and so when you move around, the lights turn on, etc. It is so stunning that the top floor, one wing, every light is on and it's picture taken by somebody from the outside. <laughs> and every other light and every other wing is on. And that, of course, was the wing where the HANA team sits. They're all working there at 7.30 7, 7 on a Friday night. And everybody else has gone home. This is how it is. These guys, and... Uh, I hope they're not working on that escalation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this was last year. Long, this was actually before we had received the product. The, the underlying dynamic of how these ecosystems evolve is really around something that you can call an aggregation point. Historically, you know, aggregation point developed, right? Las Vegas is an aggregation point. We are all sitting here together in a conference. And the conference itself is an aggregation point. Uh, when you look at our life, interacting with information and business activities, we basically have roughly four layers or four types of aggregations. There is our personal thing, which is sort of my device and me interacting with it, or my desktop or my TV, you know, but it is me interacting with a device or information through a device. There has to be an ecosystem for this. Today there is the Android Apple ecosystem and uh, we will do that as well, our mobile store. Then there is a group where a group of people come together and then get something done. Um, here we did Duet for, Duet for Microsoft uh, SharePoint and anybody can build an application and Capgemini and others have demonstrated some incredible applications that they have built on SharePoint with Duet and Gateway. Uh, so SharePoint applications that can be used on top of SAP systems. Um, so here we are already doing that to some extent with Microsoft. Gateway makes it possible for us to do that with anybody. And Gateway and HANA brings these two things together 
So the Adobe community or anybody else's community or, or SVP on top of that, uh, you get the ecosystem to build that. The third aggregation point beyond that, the, so beyond the personal, the group, is normally the enterprise. And here we have 10,000 portals. Uh, I expect that 10, the 10,000 portals, uh, 10,000 portal system is something that, you know, Shai was, while Shai was here, he, he could only imagine 10,000 systems. We did it, and the vast majority of the growth has happened after he left. Um, so, you know, people think that somehow NetWeaver and Portal ended when Shai left. And Shai has left the building for many years now, uh, four and a half years now. And we are still here, you know. Portal is still there, 10,000 plus now. Um, so the portal is another aggregation point. We'll bring this closer to, uh, to HANA and to Gateway uh, for, for native integration uh, and open up the enterprise workspaces. And finally, it's the cloud, where you interact with the rest of the world, basically, like Facebook or so on. Uh, and there we need another one, another one. And here Streamwork is our foundation. Uh, River as the programming model and the platform for delivering that. The Streamwork collaboration services, the enterprise workspaces on demand, which is Streamwork. So you can do it in your enterprise, and those things that you want to share with the outside world, you put into the cloud, Streamwork, and so forth. Uh, my goal is that for each of these four aggregation points, we will have an ecosystem of partners to build. That's what I meant by amazing experiences and innovation on top. Uh, and the enabling technology of HANA mobility, easy programming with river and so forth, and this ease of connectivity to legacy, non-disruptive using gateway. These are the building blocks of that. And the thing we showed for Hilti is an example which brings all of them together.